guys, what's up? My name is Bella for all of you who are new here. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I'm so excited for this video, guys, and I hope you all are too. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you can see more of my future content. All right, everybody, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump in and kind of explain to you how the state dog show went. So basically, I had to leave my house at like six in the morning to get to the state fairgrounds at about seven in the morning because my first class was at 7.30, so it was really early, which is not my favorite, but you know what? It was was worth it and basically as you guys can see I'm doing a rally and this is where you just follow all the signs and do your best job completing them and keeping your dog close to you and listening to you and it was honestly a very challenging class because the signs were really confusing and the judge had some health issues and was not able to come around and explain all of them and so I was very confused and had to ask for random people's help so that was like the hardest part of this class also I thought I did a much better job than I did we ended up getting like a red or something and so I thought I got like a high placing like maybe an honorable mention or like a blue but no guys we got a red which honestly that's all right it's fine but I thought we did a lot better job anyways this class was so fun I actually really liked this class once I thought I figured it out you know I did not feel as stressed so that's good but this class was actually super fun so I'm happy with how we did and you know although it was challenging and we didn't do the best job I'm still happy with this class okay so I waited about an hour after rally until I did this class obedience which it actually was not one that I thought we would do well in. It was kind of a class that we had been struggling with all year long, even at county level. And I just did not think Annie would do a great job. I was just had very low expectations. But Annie honestly impressed me, even though you guys will see us make a million mistakes in this. We still got second place overall, guys, which is amazing. Like that is the best ever I thought we could get. Like I did not expect us to do that well but we did that well so that is very impressive i'm so proud of annie but guys it is crazy how many mistakes we actually made in this and how we still got second place i think just a bunch of kids in my class were struggling with this class because it is super challenging you have to have your dog carry a dumbbell which is like this wooden thing like this wooden toy that you put in their mouth and you have to have them carry it over a jump and you also have to have them go and bring it back to you after you throw it uh, far away and so guys it was super hard and I'm just impressed Annie and I got second like that is so shocking when they announced my name I was like so shocked that we even got that placing so anyways guys I'm ranting now but this class was really challenging there were a bunch of kids in my class I did not expect us to do well but we did and I'm very proud of Annie Alright, so I just want to mention one thing. You'll see me call Annie here, and I'm supposed to tell her to lie down. And you can see her kind of crawl towards me and just really not act like she's listening at all. She did not lay down. She totally messed that part up. But you know what? That's all right. I'm still proud of Annie. She did a good job. And she did, honestly, this recall a lot better than I thought she would. So, yeah, I'm super happy with that. But I just wanted to mention that she did not listen to me fully. Okay, as I was telling you guys earlier, this is by far one of the most challenging parts of this class. It is hard because Annie is not like a lot of normal dogs. She does not love to play fetch and she does not really understand what it means to bring back the toy. And so she dropped it by that jump and did not bring it back. And she also did not sit in front of me. So that was kind of disappointing. So this part of the class turned out to be very funny i almost started laughing super hard because of annie so basically i put the dumbbell in her mouth i called her for the jump and i did not put her far enough away from the jump where she could have time to actually jump over it because it's pretty high as you guys can see and so i had to recall her over the jump the judge just told me you know what just call your dog again and she literally just stopped in front of the jump you guys i could not stop laughing it was too hilarious
County. A blue ribbon reserve champion score of 170 to Isabella Gavin from Wright County. And the class champion with a 170 and a half goes to Alyssa Olson. All right, and then after my obedience class, I waited about two or three hours for my showmanship class. This is my last class, you guys. And in this class, you basically get super fancy and you try to look your best. And the judge's goal is to basically see how much you know. It's not so much about your dog, but it's more about how well you handle yourself and how many facts you know about dog breeds and your dog breeds specifically. And so I love this judge. She was super nice. She was my obedience judge, if you guys don't remember. Member. and she was really nice to me she actually seemed like she really enjoyed me and she was really kind so I really appreciated that but guys I was super determined to do a great job in this class I don't know what came over me I just got super determined and I was like you know what I'm gonna win this class or do very well and so I did my best I just smiled the whole time which the judges love and I just honestly worked super hard in this class you guys might not be able to see that but I really tried tried my best and I was so determined to win this class and to do really well. So guys, I am super happy with how this went. It went much better than honestly I thought it would go and it was just so fun guys. And you know what? Annie and I ended up winning second place overall in this class, which guys, we had to split the class into two groups of eight kids. So guys, there were 16 people and Annie and I got second place overall, which is absolutely amazing. I am literally so proud of how well we did and it just went super well and I love showmanship now and I'm so excited to do it for the next couple years. Okay, so right here I brought Annie up in front of the judge and I just stacked her which means just getting her feet perfectly straight and equal to each other right next to each other and the judge asked me to do an L pattern so I've been practicing this so basically I go in an L form and I always want to make sure that I'm not on the same side as the judge so you can see me switch my hand and sides and so that I don't get in front of the judge's way because I want the judge to always be able to see my dog also a fun fact about this class guys it is a lot of standing in one spot and not really doing a ton except watching the judge making sure you always know where the judge is and constantly fixing your dog's feet and so that's pretty much what this class is a lot of overall guys annie and i did amazing this was one of our best years yet and i'm so proud of annie i love how we did a great job even though we came in with such low expectations annie and i ended up winning one red and two second place ribbons which is so awesome all right, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'm so happy you decided to join me. If you guys wanna see more updates regarding the horses, regarding the dog stuff, make sure to subscribe down below so you can stay tuned for all of my upcoming videos, guys. Join me in my horse journey.